welcome to This is Pikeville, a time we get together to talk about tourism and events going on in the city of Pikeville. Today, we have a huge show planned for you. As always, Jimmy Taylor is here. He is the Director of Tourism for the city of Pikeville. But some other guests to our show and a new guest to, to our show today, Hillary Harkins. She is the Marketing Director for the Appalachian Center for the Arts. Hillary, thanks for being with us. Thank you. And you've seen him before, Josh Kessler. Ha. He, oh. is the, uh, he is the Marketing Director for the new named Appalachian Wireless Arena. So thank you both for joining thank us you. today. The reason they're here, Jimmy, is that we have so much going on. We want to make we sure do. that people are putting faces and names together, but certainly give everybody a chance to talk about the various events that are happening. So we're going to start with you. We've had a really busy summer we have. in the city of Pikeville, and that is continuing through, of course, through the winter months. From racing to Rumble in the Riverfield to Kids Day in the Park, uh, it's, it's, there's something to do always in Bible. Can never say that there's nothing to do. Absolutely not. So we use this time to, to talk about the events that are going on. So let's talk about some things that are going on in September. And that's going to start with our wine tasting and retail gating that um, has, has happened a couple of years prior to, but always a big event. This is the third uh, year Main Street's hosting this event. It happens on 2nd Street, and it will be on uh, September the 28th from 11 to 6 p.m. Mm -hmm. Uh, the merchants all get together and uh, they bring all their stuff from inside, outside. And you've also got the wine tasting element and uh, we'll have Polly Hollow there, uh, building barrels and um, Rising Suns. The Rising Suns is originally from Elkhorn City. Yeah. One of the great things about that event is that it does give our businesses on 2nd Street and various places around town the opportunity to really make like a street festival and bring their, their goods outside. It's a different kind of shopping. It, it is. Um, that people really seem to enjoy. Uh, absolutely. And you're going to have stuff like um, food vendors, food mm -hmm. trucks, actually, street vendors, street music. Johnny Pop Day will be yeah. uh, singing live. It's going to be a great, uh, a great uh, event. It is going to be a great event and something that um, would be a great time now to mark your calendars using the app that we are so famous for. The app that you can download for Apple or Android, yes, yeah. visit Pikeville. All you have to do is just put that in the search bar and it'll, it'll bring it up. It'll be the first one. Yeah, and not only that, but we always do mention to you, it lists the events there, but it also gives information um, on there about how you can book different locations around town. It does. If you're, if you're looking to host a, an event or a party, it's it's there as well. You can, you can book uh, events there. You can also uh, see exactly what's going on at the arena and the Appalachian Center for the Arts. Yeah. Something else, since you mentioned Appalachian Center for the Arts, that's going to go on in October is the first year that this has been done in downtown. And it is called, uh, it is an event sponsored by Main Street, of course, and it's called The Dead Ball. It is. So we want to explain to our, our audience what that exactly is and how people can participate. So this is one of the events that I'm kind of looking forward to. It's our first one. And um, the tickets are $25 a piece if you get them before uh, October the 10th. Everybody's going to be dressed up, so that is a requirement. You do have to dress up, but you can. We, we really want people to participate and dress up as uh, dead historical figures. Right. So if you want to come as a, a dead farmer or Abraham Lincoln or or anything to that nature, absolutely, just come on down. There's a lot of historic uh, element to the planning of this um, with Octavia Hatcher and some mm -hmm. other um, local people, the Hatfield McCoys, obviously. So you can dress up, like you said, as a dead historic figure, but they're also looking for people who are fascinated with zombies and zombies. are in, into that sort of thing. And also just, just any kind of Halloween costume, as long as you're in costume. As long as you're in uh, costume. You can be there. And again, it's sponsored by the Main Street Program and, and the first year of the event. It's the first year of the event, and also the proceeds are going to help fund Appalachian Center for the Arts. So it's a really good way to help our theatrical, theatrical community. It absolutely is. Hillary, I know that you've been with us uh, just for a short amount of time, but really have hit the ground running with different events and telling every people and spreading the good news <laughs> of the Appalachian Center for the Arts. You are a busy, busy gal. Yes. Um, every time I see you or we talk <laughs> or we communicate via mm -hmm. text or email, there's always something else going on. So tell us a little bit about what is happening at the app. Yeah, so we have tons of things that are happening right now, um, especially with the Million Dollar Quartet. Um, that's going to be going from August 8th to the 24th um, and we're super excited it's a Broadway show 
um, and the guys have really been working hard. You may have seen them around town or on Facebook, yeah. and um, it's we're really excited about that showcase the yeah. talent. Later on in this show, we're actually going to be treated to a performance yes. uh, by the cast, uh, just a couple of songs, so we can kind of give a little tease out yeah. there as to what people who haven't got their tickets yet yeah. um, can look forward to. I know it's it's a fabulous, fabulous production, something that we have never seen in that building. Absolutely. So we are really encouraging and exciting to offer that for our community members. But also coming up August 27th, something local for, really local yes. for, for our area. Yeah, so we're having a bluegrass night at the app and it's going to be the Kevin Prater Band. Uh, some of you may know him as Waldo. Um, he is from Belcher mm -hmm. um, and he doesn't play very often in Pike County, just for hillbilly days normally. So he's excited to be back to his home home county and, and playing with us and so we're going to keep this going, the Bluegrass Night. Yeah, certainly a genre of music that is near and dear to, to most people in our region Absolutely. Um, because it is, it is our music, yes. so to speak. Yes. So looking forward to him. Also, something I'm looking forward to is Daryl Scott. Yes, Daryl Scott will be there um, September 22nd um, at the app and um, you might not know this, but he wrote the um, You'll Never Leave Harlan mm -hmm. Alive. Um, and it was in the show Justified. Uh, it was his version. So if anybody's watched that show, um, yeah. you have heard his version. So one of my favorite shows. Hated that they. I know that it that it went <laughs> off. But certainly, if you you're a fan of the show, you know Daryl Scott's yes. music. Yes. Yes. And that's going to be a great show. Something else. Um, I'm from Johnson County, so uh -huh. I have a lot of uh, love for Loretta Lynn and her family oh, absolutely. that's still there. But coming up on October 25th. One of those things that if you love Conway Twitty and you love Loretta yes. Lynn, you've got to make plans now. Yes, so Taylor Lynn and Trey Twitty are doing a tribute to their grandparents. Yeah. Um, and it's almost scary when, when I've watched kind of the videos they've sent us that it, it seems just like their grandparents are up on stage singing. Um, so we're super excited about that. It's October 25th at 7.30 and tickets are on sale right now for that. How do people get tickets for shows? Uh, you can go app? to Ticketmaster, uh, you can come to our website, you can come to the box office, or you can go to the Community Trust box office at the arena. So going into the um, remaining months of the year, not only do we have a lot of concerts that are playing there, but we also have a lot of different plays yes. and, and uh, events like that that people can come mm -hmm. to, to yeah. see. So after MDQ closes, uh, we will start with Sally McCoy. Uh, which you know, has big ties to Pike County um, as well. So we're excited about that. It's a local cast, um, so it's everybody from the region going to be in that show. We also have Frozen Junior, which I'm most excited about. I love watching yeah, the kids. Very excited about that um, one. So that will be November 14th, um, and I know we've got a full load of kids that have signed up, and they're super excited. Um, and then a Christmas show will be Moonshine and Mistletoe, um, and it was written and directed by a local. Um, he was from Louisa, so, mm -hmm. yeah. That's going to be a lot of fun. Yeah. Speaking of fun, you can't have a cash show and not expect Josh Kessler to bring the fun. Oh, my goodness. He Market, brings the fun. Marketing director <laughs> yeah. for the newly named Appalachian Wireless Arena. Another busy, busy guy. I mean, you're running around constantly. Your face is everywhere because you're spreading the good news about Appalachian Wireless Arena. So let's go over some things that we have coming um, to to the arena. And one of those is Black Label Society, which is kind of a, a new genre that we're bringing in to to the arena for a whole different group of people. Exactly. Uh, folks been asking for a heavy metal show for quite a bit, and Black Label is, we haven't had a heavy metal show in five years, so a lot of people have been asking for it, and we throw it out. All we're asking for in return is support, so you can get more of those shows. And, you know, a lot of people like to wait to the last minute to get tickets. That doesn't really help us. If right. you is if you go out and purchase now, you know, that shows the promoter and all tied into the show that, hey, these shows are successful, these shows will do well in this market, let's throw out some more. Yeah. That's what we hope for. And, and you can get your tickets on mm -hmm. Ticketmaster. Ticketmaster.com. Uh, you can charge by phone at 1-800-745-3000 or come to the Community Trust Bank box office, 126 Main Street. Can't that, miss us. That's going to be an interesting show. Will be. Tell you what else is an interesting event. That, <coughs> this is, and correct me, is it the second or third year for Hoptoberfest? This is actually going to be the uh, third year. Third year. Okay, so that's an event that, that we're starting to see a lot of promotion for and something that really has its own niche of people it does. That, that come into our area. It has its own following. Whether you're a craft beer fan or not, you're going to come and have a good time. There is no U.K. games that weekend. <laughs> we plan around that for a reason. We want you to come out on October 5th and support Oktoberfest. So is there a VIP package along with that? Yes, there's a, there's a VIP package. Of course, you'll get some shirts. You'll get a nice glass. Uh, for more information on that, visit AppalachianWirelessArena.com, our brand-new website. We have general remission. 
uh, seat or tickets available as well. And then we're doing something different this time. Designated drivers do not have to pay because they're taking care of the folks coming in. So that's a nice touch. They're, they're, they're not is. paying, and yeah. they get some soft drinks as well. So it's going to be a good time. It is going to be a good time. A uh, couple of concerts or a few concerts that are coming up. We're going to start with Newsboys, Charlie Daniels Band, um, Blackstone Cherry, Blackstone am I Cherry. right? And Chris mm-hmm. Jansen. So let's go over some of those shows. There's, like I said, we've got nine shows on sale right now, which is unheard of in, in a while. Uh, but we're rolling with it. We're having a good time. Um, Charlie Daniels puts on a heck of a show. Very, very popular artist. Throw the Kentucky Headhunters in the mix. It's a party all night long. It's going to be great. October 26th. October 20th, you got the Newsboys, Greatness of Our God Tour. Um, they love, a lot of folks right here love the Newsboys. They love uh, Ryan Stevenson and those folks tied in, in with that concert as well. So uh, group rate, of course, available. Like I said, AppalachianWildsArena.com for all the information. Uh, bring the churches, bring the youth groups. It's going to be a great time. Um, just just so much going on. Chris Jansen, we just announced that. Yeah, going to be a huge show. It's it going to be mm-hmm. massive because Chris Jansen, not only does he want to play Pikeville, he actually said yes, he wants to play the Pikeville market. He's excited to play in Pikeville, Kentucky, which is awesome. Anytime you get an artist like that. Mm-hmm. Um, and he's got the number one song in the U.S. right now, Good Vibes. Going to be fantastic. Um, he's got a lot of hit songs and coming through. and They go on sale, actually go on sale, um, well, Friday. They're on sale. Yeah, yeah, they're on sale right now. So we're, we're excited for that. And sales have turned out really well for Chris Jansen. Another um, rock band-ish, mm-hmm. Blackstone Cherry. Yes. Um, we mentioned Black Label Society. This is still kind of in that same vein, bringing more of that type of music to the area. Exactly. Black uh, Blackstone Cherry has ties to both country and rock. Uh, Blackstone Cherry, one of the, the singers there, their father is actually in the Kentucky Headhunters, so it's pretty cool to, ha- to have them play and then their, you know, their, his son play as well. So that's going to be fun. Um, you, you can't go wrong with Blackstone Cherry. A lot of people have been asking for that. And you throw in the lax with them. The lax are something we've not seen in Pikeville. They have, their, they have a hip-hop vibe to them as well as a rock as well as a country twang, so it's untelling. If you're not familiar with that, it's like a Colt Ford meets a big schmo. Okay. That's really what you're going to get. That's a large <laughs> It's a large range. There. It's a large range. So really, large if you like music, you need to be at that show. You need Absolutely. to be at that show. Regardless of, of, of what you're, you're there for. Exactly. Um, and then if you're a basketball fan, we're going to flip sides to a little bit of you know, Harlem Globetrotter action. Always a big show. Always a big show, especially for the kids. Been around 95 years doing the trick shots, Metal Arc Lemon, all the all the classics. Now you've got a, a whole new audience. You know, you have the grandparents that watch the Globetrotters. You have their, you know, their kids watch the Globetrotters. Yeah. Now you got the grandkids that are coming to watch the Globetrotters. So it's fun to see the interaction, see the kids have fun, see all the trick shots. It, 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 brings, it brings a smile to your face. It really does. It, it Looking really forward does. To that. December 13th, that's going to be a great time. Covers many generations, for Many sure. generations. Well, we are so looking forward to all of the different events that are going on. I know, Jimmy, your plate is full, but yes, we can always add something in. Hillary, you are super busy. <laughs> and Josh, I mean, it goes without saying. The guys and gals at the Appalachian Wireless Arena, everybody does a tremendous job in pulling together. And, you know, we do want to mention, too, that State Fair is coming up it is. Uh, in Louisville. It is is this month, and we are going to showcase what the City of Pikeville has to offer. We are. Uh, the Tourism Department, along with our Events Department, uh, Appalachian Wireless Arena and Appalachian Center for the Arts is all going together and we've secured our booth, we know our layout, we've got all the designs down and I think that we're going to have a good showing. Yeah, it's a good plan and, and this will be the first time that we've ever participated time, in the State Fair. August the 15th through the 26th. Yeah, that's going to be a lot of fun. I know we're all looking forward to the time spent there and, and getting everything ready to go. We've had a great time planning. Uh, that show and that event coming up for us. So uh, going to be a lot of fun. Yes, ma'am. As we've mentioned, we are excited to have Million Dollar Quartet yes, we at are. the Appalachian Center for the Arts. Uh, the show is going on now, going to run through August 24th. We're going to have um, Eric Buckley join us from the Appalachian Center for the Arts. And coming up, we're going to have a fantastic performance by the cast. So 
Eric Buckley, as promised, joins us now. He's the Director of Education at the Appalachian Center for the Arts and also a Million Dollar Quartet Director and local person, local I just person. found out, DJ Salisbury, actually originally from Louisa, I Lawrence from County, Louisa, yes. and, and joining us to direct Million Dollar Quartet, yes. which we are so excited about. So, Eric, I want to let you walk us through a little bit about the process of bringing MDQ to the Appalachian Center for the Arts, because this is going to be probably one of the biggest shows we've seen so far. Absolutely. Um, well, we were really Really, really fortunate. We had uh, dozens of amazing musician actors send us videotapes, some who were able to come in in person, and we were able to really sift and pick and choose and see which moving parts, of course, with DJ's uh, guidance, uh, who was going to be the best for which part, and also how the quartet itself fit together. So uh, we, it was a remarkable turnout of people. We were able to uh, bring in several local people, uh, Chase Fleming, who's our bass player, uh, Jennifer Hartsock, who's also playing the role of Diane, and uh, Evan O'Quinn, who's actually from right over the border in Virgie. I mean, in, not Virginia, in Wise. Virginia. <laughs> in Virginia. Uh, Virginia. <laughs> it really is. There's been so much buzz about yeah. this show around the area, and certainly we've, we've seen them a lot of different places. We're going to have a performance coming up yes. in just a few moments. Um, but really just a lot of people, DJ, have never been to the Appalachian Center for oh. the Arts, mm -hmm. and this is one way that we really want to showcase the theater yes. and what it offers, yes. and I know you are so excited about this show. I am thrilled. This is my third production. I've directed two other productions. It's a great evening of theater, and what I really love about it is that it does bring in people. We just, outside in the hallway, a woman came up to us and said her, I think, 84-year-old mother saw that they, they saw the Facebook Live we did mm -hmm. uh, locally, and she said she, these were the people of her youth. These were the musicians and the uh, what, who, people who became legends that she grew up with, and she's bringing her 84-year-old mother. So this show, unlike some musicals, brings in people that want to relive their youth through the music. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's a great combination of, of a music history and theater. Right. So I love it. And what I think, too, is so great is that people, like I said, that have never been to Appala the Appalachian Center for the Arts or even really s been to a performance like this, a musical play, it really is going to um, enlighten them to yes. what is offered. Oh. If they've never been a fan of theater, yes. this is something that's a little mm -hmm. bit different. And it really, it's something for the entire family. Absolutely. We encourage you to bring your kids, yep. you know, your, your grandparents yeah. or more seasoned <laughs> uh, individuals. I, li I like what you're saying. Yeah. And actually, we're really fortunate is uh, local museum appraiser Matt Hagens, who's from over in Floyd County, uh, has generously uh, let us uh, display some memorabilia, including Elvis's rehearsal guitar from his Hawaiian special, uh, one of El a pair of Elvis's sunglasses, supposedly unloaded, of course, the pistol that he shot the television out with, famously, one of Johnny Cash's daggers. Wow. And we, um, uh, we're from the local museum here, they generously donated us a case to display them in. So there's going to be all this memorabilia that leads in from the uh, in the lobby that leads you into the actual time capsule that is the show. So history buffs too, don't yes, forget, this absolutely. is going to be a perfect opportunity yeah. for you as well. Okay, set the show up for us. Okay. We're talking about legends mm -hmm. and then we're going to get a performance. Well, uh, I play the role of Sam Phillips and uh, he is the, of course, owner of Sun Records and he's discovered all of these guys and uh, this is based on an actual event that occurred. Uh, there's actually a photograph, photographic evidence of it, and they've created the story that this is where Mr. Phillips is trying to re-sign uh, some of his acts so that they don't get sort of snatched up by some of the larger labels. Uh, whether he's successful or not, that's you'll have to come and see the show for. Well, we are certainly excited. You can get your tickets at the box office mm -hmm. at the Appalachian Center for the Arts or certainly just walk in Appalachian Wireless Arena. Community Trust Bank box office is where you can make sure that you have a ticket to see mm -hmm. this great show. I'm ready for a performance. Yes. How about you? Absolutely. You. The guys and, and Diane, played by Jennifer right. Hartsock, are remarkable. I'm going to lay down my burden. Where? Down by the riverside. Where? Down by the riverside. <laughs> Down by the riverside, I'm gonna lay down my burden. Where? Down by the riverside, ain't gonna study war no more. Well, ain't gonna study war no more. 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 Cadillac down by the riverside, down by the riverside, down 
down by the riverside. I'm gonna drive up in my brand new Cadillac down by the riverside. I'm gonna study forts no more. Well, I ain't gonna study war no more. 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 Hey, what you gonna do, Elvis? I'm gonna lay down on my sword and shield. Say where? Well. Down by the riverside. Down by the riverside. Down by the riverside. I'm gonna lay down on my sword and shield. Down by the riverside. I'm gonna study war no more. Well, 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 ain't gonna study war no more. Ain't gonna study war no more. Ain't gonna study war no more. Well, ain't gonna study war no more. going on now at the Appalachian Center for the Arts going to be going on until August 24th so thank you all so much for being here we appreciate your time and looking forward to a great show thank you. tickets thank are you available guys. at the Community Trust Bank box office at the Appalachian Wireless Arena or of course at the Appalachian Center for the Arts